guys, so today I'm going to be doing a I Don't Like It video and the series was created by L, all that glitters, and I just thought I would call my reviews if I like the products, I'll call it a product rave, and if I don't, I'll just call it I Don't Like It, um, so that you guys can know whether it's a good review or a bad review just by, like, you know, looking at the title, um, but let me know what you guys think about that. So today's spotlight goes to the MAC, um, Smolder Eichel, and... I was super excited for this. I'm actually kind of shocked that I don't like it. The main reason that I don't like it is because it smudges like crazy. I'll tell you guys the whole story. I went to school. I did my makeup at about 6.30ish. Then I went to school and around 8.30ish, which is about two hours from when I applied it, I took out my mirror because I'm just cool like that. I just sway on a mirror every so often. So I took out my mirror. I look in the mirror. I was like, holy crap. Oh my god, what happened to my eyeliner? Because it was literally down here. But it was like really bad. You could like see it from like 10 miles away. Okay, maybe not 10, but you get the idea. It was really bad smudge. So I took out my makeup remover and fixed it. And I always carry eye makeup remover with me, but I've never had to use it. Never, ever, ever. Um, which is ridiculous because I've never tried a liner that smudges this much. So I used the makeup remover under my eyes and I retouched it up because it was like fading. It was all like smudging downwards. And um, it didn't smudge until the late afternoon. Not late afternoon. It didn't smudge until like, like about 2 or 1-ish. Which is pretty good because I think it's because of the eye makeup remover. It kind of stopped it from smearing. So then after gym class, which was my last class that day, um, it smudged a little bit. Um, not much compared to what happened in the morning and it was understandable because I just sweated and all that girl stuff so yeah so I touched up after gym and then I was on my way home I got home and I was trying to film a video about 4 30 ish which is about like an hour after I touched up um it was smudging again it wasn't as bad as the first time it was worse that after my gym class so it's very smudgy I had to touch it up so many times I've never had a touch up normally I put my eyeliner on in the morning it stays on the whole entire day I don't have to worry about it um this is just not not the material for that I'm not sure how it would do on the top lash line but if you think about it if it smudges that much that I don't know every time you blink your eyes you increase the chance of smudging I guess so I mean I personally don't recommend this I haven't tried it on the top so I can't say for that before the waterline this is definitely a no-no you can search for other reviews there is a good side to this it is very creamy there's a swatch that was one swipe of it it's very intense and very dark it glides on so creamily probably the creamiest eyeliner I've ever tried and that's probably the reason that it smudges so bad um, so basically the smudging problem, it's intolerable for me. Um, if you could stand the smudging and touching up every five minutes, then go ahead and get it. Now onto a very good eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Never Felt Eyeliner. Big surprise. If you watched my videos for a while, you know this is what I live off of. Um, because, okay. So that was one swipe as well. As you can see, intensity, super comparable. Creaminess, it's not as creamy, but as you can see, the color shows up just as dark, and maybe even darker. Um, and this is a uh, technical, no, no, it's like a automatic one, so you don't have to sharpen it, which is really nice. And this is definitely the, the one that I would recommend. It's better than any eyeliner. I've tried tons and tons of eyeliner. I've also tried the MAC. Graph Black Technical Eyeliner. I know they have a, like a Cold Power Eyeliner, but out of the two I tried, I am just going to stay away from the MAC liners from now on because the Technical one, it, like, it wasn't very intense. It was, look at that, that's like nowhere as black as those two. Did I ever say this was from L'Oreal? I don't know. I'll smudge this two for you. Hold on, I'll smudge the top one, and I'll smudge the bottom one. Look at the difference. Like, just look, this bottom one smudges nowhere near as much. As you can see, this, the top one, is how it looks under my eyes after I smudges, and the bottom side, that's how it looks. So this is a lot better than that, even if it does smudge, which it rarely ever does. And this one is for the Ico, and this one's for the L'Oreal one. Like, it's not smudging. And look, you can see where the original swatch was, where, where this one, the top one, just blends in all together. 
why does this one not move? Like, I'm, like, rubbing my skin. Can you guys tell how hard? As you can see, the powder is even wearing off because of how hard I'm rubbing. But it's just not smudging. It stays where it is. And it doesn't, like, move at all. Like, on the waterline, it's a little bit different because it does produce water. But it doesn't smudge. Nowhere as much as the MAC one. Um, it might work for you. I'm not saying it won't work for everybody. But it's a pretty obvious which one I should get example right here um so yeah i will see you guys later and i hope you guys have a nice day and one of my subscribers messaged me and asked me to show them how long my bangs are so i'm just gonna do that quickly so this is my bangs it's really long now i had them cut up to here right under my brow during the summer of last year so this is how much my hair grows in a year I think now it's like under it's very long now my hair grows really fast I read a post and it says Asian hair is supposed to grow the fastest so I thought that was pretty cool I will see you guys later bye